Assalamu alaikum, hallo en hartelijke welkom bij Pro. Ik is Abira Dixon, Mohammed en vandaag kan je er ek saam met Chef Randall Marman en sy kom bys. Hallo jylle, weet jylle ek het over een paar weke achter mekaar nou gaan kook by chefs. En het lyk vir my een van die dame en ek een koek of doen tussen die chefs. Is jylle met my? Na? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> Maar vandag natuurlijk in die kubuis gesels ek met chef Randall. En dit is om my enige ouwe nie. Ek sê vir jou al die chefs, hulle ken hulle story. Maar ek gaat hulle een dag kree om te kyk wie ken sy story beter as die ander ene. Hallo Randall. Hallo. Man kyk jy so, wat gaan sy nou gauw vir ons eers hier in die kubuis maak voor ek nou gauw vir weer iets anders sê is? Ok, so wat ek ga doen is my couscous, saam met jou mix roast veg, en dan ook a stuffed chicken. So, En jy weet, moes in die chef terms geel al die explanations, so jy kan nou om a chicken roulade, chicken gordon bleu, maar ek gaan nou net sê, a stuffed chicken breast, saam met roast veg. Ok, nou ek is gauw, harie wat hulle het noem, by my blij dat het hoener en klaar. Maar kyk, gaan jy sê, gaan vir my, wat gebruik jy al hier, van al jou goedkies, wat jy nou kan maak? Ja, so die bestanddele wat ek het, is het nou jou pepers, jou groen rooi, en spinazie, bekie eifsaam, en dan ons jou knoffel, en mix-ups, soutpeper, meel, botte, meel, So dit gaan ek gebruik vir die saus eindelijk met die peri peri saus op die einde. Wat saam gaan? Ja, so en ons het ons een couscous daar so. So wat ek nou doen, ja. Julle weet ons elke keer is aan die LC moos baie aspris net. En laat sy vir my moos nou elke keer moos nou uif snu en dan huil ek verskrikkelijk. Nou raak ek die slim vaat en ek nou besluit nie wacht. Ek gaan my nou vir die gast vraag om my eie uiwe te doen en dan bruis ons het maar so lang en dan hoef ek moos nou nie so te huil nie. So ja, ons het nou al begin met die uie en die uie sal een bykie half brein. So Randall, wat gaan verder dan die gebeur? Ok, so nou klaar met die uie, lekker is lekker brein. En dan gaat ons nou die ander wat die hulle spandele die ander goed in sit. So ons my keer die peper, die groen en rooi. Ok, kan ek maar keer op my aangooi. Hoeveel is hierdie nou omtrend? Ek gaan dit nou die bykie so tui. So dit is omtrend een klein green pepper. En dan ons jou red peppers that you want. You can also put that in. Ek gaan dit nou die bykie so tui. So net al die geer uitkom. And then there you go. So you can chop the danya for me in the meanwhile, if you don't mind. Hoeveel dan is hier omtrent so klein? So you can say that's about a handful, ja? Or about a quarter cup. You know, once you chop it up, it's already fine after that. So basically I'm just sorting the peppers. Yes. I can now lekker marry. En as jou peppers nou lekker is na jou sin, dan wat gooi jy verder? Ok, dan gooi ek die knoffel by en die mix herbs. Rede hoe ek nou so doen, want as jy somtijds die knoffel voor die tijd gooi, dan brand die ook. Ek verstaan so. So ek doen nou maar net so, you know, each to their own, you cook what you feel and the way you like it. Ja, maar kyk nou gooi jylle as een chef nou bijvoorbeeld, is daar ook miskien enige tips wat ons as die gewone vrou in die kombuis kan gebruik, om dat nie ons een knoffel te laat brand toe? Enige ander tips? That's what I've just showed. That's what I've just showed. You can either put it in, no, no, you can put it in with your veg like this, or if you don't want it burn, you can also roast your veg, I mean your garlic, in the oven. So basically you cut the bulb off, you pop it in the oven, you just roast it, and you can squeeze it out. So it's basically a roasted garlic, you can add it in at the end. Whatever you feel. Die hele bol het, as ek het toe was, dan sit ek om nog hulle in een stikkie foil, en dan druk ek om in die oog, en dan haal ek om uit, en dan haal ek om uit. You can even do it out of the foil, doesn't matter. And just about 180. Maar jy moet nie sê, wanneer ek vir jou die rest van die ander goed te moet aangee, en so aan, 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 en so Look, mix herbs, it gives it all that flavor. So yeah. in your mix herbs, you have your rosemary, thyme, all those liquor flavors, you mm. know. It's not just one base of flavor. Good. So you have know, all your bestanddele as a dry herb yeah. in it. And it gives that Mediterranean feel to it. Okay. You know, so normally people, if they do something like this, which is mix herbs, yeah. they will normally add at the end mint or whatever. For example, if you go to Greek or you in Egypt, Mm. or any Moroccan, you know, kind of feel. Yeah. They always, when they make the couscous, they always add, you know, like mint, coriander, parsley, mm. and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Just to give it a bit of a lift mm. and to give you, your dish more flavor. But I must say, I see you how fun to work with your colors, right? 
Yeah, no, colors also important. Uh, they say you eat with your eyes. Mm. So that is my way, you know, we been taught that from the beginning mm. um, to make the food look pretty and also just to give it that kind of, you know, je ne sais quoi, so they say. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, that is now sauteed. Yes. So we can add in the spinach Yiri. for now. Yeah, okay. spinach. Yeah. Amo. Yeah, also. Because what will happen, it will wilt down yeah. and it will obviously be... Um, you know, you at the end of the day, it will be quite little. So yes, this okay. is probably like a cup, which yes. will reduce into a quarter cup, mm. in a sense. So this is basically not baby spinach, it's wild spinach. So it does take um, a bit of time to cook. It's not like a baby spinach, yeah. but you just in a hot pan, and then there you go. Mm. So from here, I'm going to saute this. Yes. Um, if Abida would like to do the couscous for me. So what I've done is I boiled the water already. Yeah. You can just add in. The kettle is right here. Wait, so then, water and yeah, I'll, I'll okay. show you. You okay. can do this for me. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, so this is not boiling water. So basically you just add it into your couscous. Yes. And then you will just show you exactly around about there. Ah. That's it. So it's, just to, to cover. so it's just to cover it. So you'll shake it around. Okay. You'll see. We'll start doing that. So once it's covered like this, mm -hmm. then we're just going to cover it with plastic. Yeah. Two to three minutes max. Mm -hmm. Then it's done. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add in all our ingredients with that, yeah. that we are sauteing here. Can you now so you can, yes, you can put the plastic over. That's fine. <laughs> uh, no problem. Okay, so basically like that, you cover it. So you can use anything, you know, I didn't need to use plastic wrap. Yes. You can also use um, like a plate, or whatever you, you want to put on. So as you can see, this is now coming nicely. I'm just going to add a knob of butter. Just to, this is just like a teaspoon. Basically, Extra, is that echte butter or some margarine? No, you can use margarine, anything you'd like. It's it's your choice, yes. you know, and what you have in the house. I mean, everybody can't just go and say, we're going to put real butter in and, you know, we know how it is. And we have to budget. No, no, we all, you know, everybody's on a tight budget mm -hmm. and you want to make food. This is easy to do like in the week events. You come in from work. You're doing something like that, and then there you go. So this is about sauteed. I'm just going to season it now nicely with some salt and pepper. That's okay. it. Taste to taste. Yeah, yeah that no, is I just that. So I did throw some olive oil in the beginning to saute it, so all that flavors are there. And that's basically And that's basically, that will be your filling. So I'm going to use half for the couscous, and then obviously the rest for the chicken. And then we'll take the dish from there. No can you see it? That's the also bestand in the mean, so the filling of your uncle clan. In it, I love it precise. Who how I love that can do. But let me go a stick here off slide on the side. I can prank on water in your do you did as in mother in that to send the break. Ek on the one of buy a buy a way was it the other day that I keep up on good heart is for on to so much. Ah, <laughs> so Rasa, so now we got it like this. So what we can do is we can throw some of okay. the coriander in. We give any Dania. Okay. Now we have my echo say coriander and quite blue yellow and gaskaka. Ons is now weer terug. Welcome back. And I had to tell you say, you the old. It may not so let laugh. Jelle wil ik gewoon nu een mag, is al ambassadeur en ik weet dus hoe ga ik proe op je ouwe nie, maar is los gaat hij van later. Rendo? Yes. Daar is jou honger, mm hier -hmm. is jou couscous, daar is jou filling wat ja, ook al. Ja. Wat gaan jy nou verder? Oké, okay, so wat ons nou gaan doen, ek gaan nou die honig gauw staf, Goed. terwijl dat bieda nou een bykie van die um, bestanddele, ja. aan die couscous gooi vir my as okay, so, so jy kan my afval, ja. ja. Hy het nou lekker gesteem, so, okay. nou hy is nou in een klaar, so... Oh, okay. Ik kan nou, kan jy het vir oor genoem, om te sê, een vork is altijd die rechte ding. Ja, jy moet jou lepel gebruik hier, hier hoe kom, um, lepel gaat die, um, is gonna obviously break up the, the grains of it. Ah, so it's basically like a soft, pillowy grain. Yes. So you want to use a fork just to scrape it and, and get it loose. En jy begin van boa af, nie, nie die rek onder vandaan nie. Nee, jy kan hem net so, ah. en dan gaat ek nou bykie net olijfolie en gooi. Ok. Dan sê, jy kan hem net meng. Goed, ek maak so. Dan sê, olijfolie in, gooi hem mm. so Like I'm just a bit so scrambled pack, but it's not a bit too bad. Yeah. Why not? Me na ana clear. Obviously, and I'm gonna break it. Obviously, like I said before, in yeah. Egypt, those kind of Moroccan yeah. kind of style dishes, yeah. that's normally where they use it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the filling so long. Uh, so meanwhile, good. so this is my filling. Yeah. You can also cool it down. 
but for me, you can just do it as Man, is. Ek mas kinaw niya, ufan, di tipa filling e. Kani ka ano filling mo? Yes, oh, there's so much you can use, so oh, much. You can use okay. um, any cheese filling, Habrake. which is nice, mushrooms. You can use any type of other veg that you like oh. to use. You can even do chicken yeah. with a meat stuffing. Oh. So you can even put whatever meat stuffing. Yeah. Normally, people also put in like a nice braised mince. Mm. In mince yeah. So you have a both kind of meat and chicken flavor. Yeah. Dat is. Ik ga voor mij hoeveel van hier ben ik en gooi bij jou couscous. Gooi maar alles in. One alles. time. Ja, gooi alles in. Oh, Jelle bakje. Jij hebt genoeg daar. Geliefde, ja, ja. Geliefde daar zo. Nee, ik is fijn. Oké. So, you see as I'm rolling this. Ja. So basically, this is the way they do it. So you stuff it like that. Je trekt hem stijver? Daar is hij. Is amper zo zoals die mensen nou sushi maken. Ja. So you basically, you got your stuffed chicken like that. Okay, pan is nice and smoking hot. Okay. Just pull it a bit down. And then what I'll do is at the end, I'll take it like this mm. and start twisting with my hand. There we go. So you want that kind of sausage look yes. to your chicken. So what people normally do at times also, um, because it hasn't set now, you can pop it in the freezer. <laughs> just so that the chicken sets on the outside yeah. and then it will still keep its shape nicely. Mm. But for now, I'm just going to do this. Now it's nice and stuffed. Mm. And then you can take your plastic again. And if we open it, it should come out right. Mm. And there I left the skin also on as well, so to give it a nice texture and crispiness. There we go. And that's it. So now, you got your nice chicken that's stuffed with your veg. So now I've got my pan on, medium mm. heat. And then what I'm going to do is pop the butter in. Mm. Okay. So the butter can also get a nice brown color to your chicken. Um, sometimes people just use oil. Mm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it actually on the seal. The reason why I'm cooking it on the seal so that it doesn't pop open. Mm. So the seal side um, seals first and then that gives me the proper texture of the chicken. But as I can feel it, I will have a few stocks and I will have a few stocks. Yeah, you can, yes, you can use any type of um, bamboo stick. You can also use um, toothpicks. Mm. So some people normally use toothpicks where they just butterfly. You can use your toothpicks as well. Mm. So basically this would be as is. How long do you want to use? Look, it depends on how the size and the thickness of your chicken is very important. Because chicken, you can't eat raw like meat. So clearly, um, if it's like this, I would say about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, depending. You can also do it in the oven. So when you see it off, you give it nice color and then back in the oven and cook it further. So it will take about 15 minutes max. Now, then I'm made home. Make a saucy bay or huma? Yes. Um, an easy sauce that you can make with it. What I normally do is, as I have my ingredients here, yeah. so flour, uh, you got your butter. You can use a little bit of oil as well, but normally a roux. They call it a roux. So you'll have your butter, yeah. your flour. You'll just put it in the pan and then saute it. And then you have your milk. Mm. Pop in the milk. Gewone milk. Normal milk. You can also use cream if you would like. Mm. And then there you go. And then you pop it in. You just whisk it. So there is not um, any lumps in it. Mm -hmm. And then you have your sauce. Then you can add anything else with it. If you want cheese with it. Um, like for me, in instance, I'm going to use peri peri sauce. Mm -hmm. So you can use any, any, any ingredients. That's just a, a peri sauce that you can buy at any market. I and like then you can use. Peri peri. There we go. <laughs> so that would give a nice, um, <laughs> kind of like that Mediterranean feel yeah. to it, you know. So basically, this is what's going to happen. You're going to give it a nice color. You're going to turn it around mm. and then cook it all the way through. So you can keep it on the skin a bit longer. Yeah. So that what will happen, your skin will crisp up nicely. Mm. So as you can see, mm. we can just keep it a bit longer and it will get more color, nice and golden brown. As my butter must be a bit of oil, can I get a bit of oil in it or do I need more butter? No, you can throw more oil in it. It all depends what you, but this would be sufficient. And also what you can do is you can also add um, different herbs or mm. So if you want rosemary or thyme or anything like yeah. that, just to give it more flavor. <laughs> and then you'll just keep on roasting it like this. Mm. And there you go. Now can you see, this is all that you have to do with the other one. So basically you're just going to cook it, do it like this, turn it around continuously. And what they also do, um, you know, in, in the industry, they got a thing where they do this, where they nap it. So this is called napping. That is basically the oil is hot. It also cooks from the top as well as the bottom. So it's going to answer. So then, basis, make your sauce up to 
Ja, zo ja, hulle moet net uit, as hy nou klaar gekook is, sit jou hoede nou, self de pan, en dan maak jou saus van daar. Want die botes moet nou klaar, en so sit net uit een bykie meel, die, jou melk, en dan was jou, al die klonte uit, en dan vat jy van dit peri saus in, there you go, Bob's your uncle. Maar ek gaan gauw gauw vir julle sê, hierdie is vir my weer een nieuwe ding, om peri peri saus in te gooi by jou wit saus, dat het ek nou nog nooit gebruik het, dat kan ek sê, ek gooi, Pesaraya anya. Okay. And next time can I get it? Nee, perisos, yung perisos. Look, sometimes, you know, as being a chef, yes. I don't always cook the way a person would at home as a ah. chef, you know. You also do stuff where, where you, 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 you grow up, where you used to use in yes. different ingredients, okay. and where that store-bought stuff, mm-hmm. you still incorporate it with your dishes. Mm. So basically, that's it. Yeah. I mean, why do you need to every time go and um, do the chefy way, you know? Mm. As bitter as you can, he's going to eat, man. Some of the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Kijk okay. nou dat het al nog lijkt daar. So it gives it more color, so your butter is now obviously what happens, it's nice and brown, mm. and it gives more color to the chicken. So just mm. need to go for a few minutes, and then we're ready to rumble. So daar het jy lir het, daai hoender is amper recht, die ou gaan sy sausie maak, hy gaan hem daar ingooi, en dan wees ons vele hoe dit lijkt, wanneer hy klaar is, en wanneer hy lekker geplukt is. <laughs> So, paar minute hier, wat ek gaan met die ou wil gesels, wat ek wil weet, wat gaan in hierdie ouse lewe aan. Ek weet, hy is een sef, maar ek wil weet, hoe kom jy die besleef om een sef te word? Rindel, vertel gaan vir ons, kyk jy stap. Ja, so, um, we het al start in 2006, um, started in Northland College, and just grew from the, did my study, but I only did one year. Because <laughs> I, I hate study, now I'm more practical. Um, we're supposed to do like a three-year course, but okay. I only done one year. Um, I left to, to America 2006. Wow. Uh, for about six months, came back, um, worked in the kitchens with, in Western Cape. Mm. 2010, I had a great opportunity. I went um, on the cruise line, Queen Victoria, for about mm. a year. So I got to travel Europe and got to see a lot, you know, and grow also as, as in that way. Mm. Um, and not just thinking like everything is here and, you know. So um, that's been a blessing. Came back, I worked at Mount Nelson Hotel for about two years. And then I started also doing my own catering. Mm. So um, at the moment, I'm a personal and private chef. Um, I cook for people at their homes, as well as events, catering, whatever you feel. Um, been blessed enough to cook for Emo Adams, Mark Lottering, uh, Lukman Adams, and as well as people from America recently now. That was on holiday. Wow. Net in hy klein paar minute, gee hy vir my a hele mond vol. En ek gaan vir julle sê, die een ding wat ek daar al uitvat, uh. is die Queen's uh, skip wat hy natuurlijk op was. Ne? Ek wil nog mm. enig daar op gaan, ek kan vir dit dit wil sê. Maar nou Rendel, dit yeah. is nou so goed gegaan met jou, dat jy is nou waar jy is. Mm-hmm. Maar jy dan ook vroeger gesê, jy wil nog iets doen. Wat is dit? Look, the dream is to have my own show as well. Um, mm-hmm. I would like to have my own cooking show, my own brand, put it that way. So at the moment, I'm working on a brand, which will be my own and unique. Mm-hmm. Um, because if people don't know, I have a music video out, which I feel it is unique. It's on YouTube. They can mm-hmm. check it out. It's called Chef Randall and it's called Whip It Up. Go! In the kitchen. Where I'm at, cooking up a storm, never looking back. I'm the Kate Malay, Shadow Khan. Got the Bollywood thing going on. Smack a dike, three course meal. Can of pays on arrival, are you for real? Gotta get it, gotta get it while it's hot. In the kitchen, and I'm never gonna stop. So now you know that the table is set. Cut on me and get your appetite wet. Got the flavor, got the love, got the taste. On a mission, better watch out for the space. Mm. So it's a hip hop track, you know, get you going, shaking, oh, you know. Lick it, you can You're a rock. So, yeah, so basically, um, I'm, I'm in a direction where I want to be, mm. but it's also to get out there to try to get more sponsors, people mm. involved, because at the end of the day, you have to finance yourself. So, for my own music video, I had to finance for myself, which cost a lot of money just Ooh. to shoot that and to get the quality that I wanted. Mm. So basically to get sponsors on board, that's the goal, the next goal, and to do more um, social media video blogs. Okay. So that's basically the dream. Yeah. Now, I know exactly where I'm talking about, to get now that rechte een te kry wat ons nou achter jou staan, is een bykie moeilik, so ek weet wel van hy praat. Yeah. Maar nou, Rendel, waar sien jy dat jouself as God vergin in een mm. jaarse tyd? 
in a year um i would like to be doing more events i think that's something that i really want because at the moment it's quite slow yes. uh, people don't have money to go and spend on dinner evenings and things mm. so i'm working on something um in a sense that can bring me steady income mm. so basically i'm looking to get more work and also hopefully try to anybody who has info you know regarding tenders or things where i can go and cook mm. um i'm basically at this moment for the next year trying to push hard to get the brand out so i'm busy i'm going to design my own things and so forth but you know that's the thing if you if you do it you must be authentic original and it must be you mm. so um, i mean there's a lot of people who are doing their own things friends that i know which i'm excited about and we can only help each other to grow so i think also one of the things um chefs must get together to help each other grow because you know we all don't have finances and things mm. uh, secondly yeah just to give positive inspiration to each other okay. because i think uh, motivation is very important for each other because mm. sometimes people have a dream but they don't go through with it because they feel this you know people is there's, there's lack of um, confidence that mm. people have okay. but we need to support one another yeah say how for my don't get what that are as a big jealousy war safe spectre There's always an arrogant way of chefs. Yeah, chefs always think they cook better than the one. I mean, I've been in the industry long enough mm-hmm. and I see how people, you know, uh, they can make now the best food at home. I mean, the best food in the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Mas, no, I used to go and eat the peanut butter and jam. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, come on, man, be, you know, um, be humble where you come from. Yes. Um, think of also the food that you've had or where you grew up. and then what you are doing that is actually a blessing that you have so remain humble uh, some people yes it is you know a bit of ego but that is each to their own mm-hmm. you know each to their own i i don't i don't see the point in it you know mm-hmm. it's so unnecessary lastly frag ik jou jy het dan nou 'n paar name genoem vir wie jy dan nou persoonlik gekook is jy het hulle vir jou gesê wat hulle wil hê of het jy daar vir hulle voor gesit wat jy het wat jy vir hulle kan kook Yes, uh, I normally work on is what the client wants. I always work whenever I cook for anyone, it's always the client comes first. Mm. So I'll go the extra mile. Um I even do the own shopping, everything. So each menu that I do is unique. Mm. So I'll come up with a menu. I won't do anything that I've done last week or the week before for other people. It's basically something new. They can tell me, "Oh, we don't eat this because um, people are lactose intolerant. Some people don't like this." Mm. Then I chop and change to the client's specification and that's it. Mm. So yeah. Maar ek moet dan vir hom alles van die beste toe wens, nou, van die client story, maar ek sê altyd, ek is 'n client, maar die client is sê altyd reg. Ja. <laughs> en dis die waarheid, ek moet dit sê. Maar wel, Randall, ek sê vir jou baie baie dankie, dit was lekker om met jou te gesels. Net hierna gaan ek vir julle wys wat dit deel gemaak en ek gaan lekker vir hom. episode na my camera my editor en soma alles van hierdie hele program so baie dit was mos nou in die week en daai is mos nou ankel maak maar ons gaan later vir hom sing want Reinel gaan vir hom sing Reinel is die singer ek kan maar net praat <laughs> <laughs> nou Reinel vir die eerste keer hier yeah. op hierdie program gaan ek en daai soma saam pro uiteen word dit okay. maar dat wy ons nou gou gaan pro want daai moet daai ook dan nou vir my sê ja yeah. wat Jou bestanddele was wat jy hier gebruik het gehou. Okay, en so, dan net weer noem vir ons kijkers, yeah. wat is hierdie? Want uh-huh. my mense gaan nou wonen, wat is daai? No problem. So die bestanddele, wat is dit nou? Stuffed chicken, um, spinach, peppers, your green red, um, garlic as well, that's in there, and mixed herbs. So we obviously saute that, and then we have couscous. So with your couscous, we use the same ingredients that was the filling of the chicken, which is the exact same, the peppers, the onions, so forth. Uh, the sauce that I made was a peri-peri sauce. It's making a roux, which is flour and butter. And then once you have your flour and butter, you add in your milk. And then at the end, when you whisk it, all the lumps free. And then that's when you have your peri-peri sauce with it. And there you go. So, it has a little bite to it. with the couscous mm. so you can eat it in the week you know like a nice um meal if you're one person can do this for you very nice and easy but i feel the same gewone wit saus maak ons mos nou soos wit saus 
Maar hij het ons nou een peri peri saus binnen die wit saus gaan gooi. En weet julle, dit, dit proe nie is soos een wit saus, dit proe is soos een rechte peri peri saus. Mm. There you have it. Amazing, amazing. Maar ek gaan nou nog een keer proe, want julle weet ons nou, als ek al twee, drie keer geproe, dan moet julle ons nou weet, is fantastisch. Nou, Rijnel, as ek al klaar daar geproe het, die tijd gaan ons in, nou, moet nie vergeet om aan gemaakt te sing daar nie, man. Oké. Dan wil ek al nog proe. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Uncle Ma. Happy birthday to you. Yip, yip, yip. Hooray! 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 Uncle Mark, we are wishing you everything of the best. And mag Allah for you nog baie jare spaar. En spoil my net van die Elsie. Ek sal weer hoor, wat was die spoiler in alles oor. En daar is wat sê lekker sien, het ek so maar sê dus, bye. Het is een perisoos, hy is een perisoos. Hy is een perisoos. So maar baie lekker geproe, en daar kan hy die hele te wel afgaan nie, maar ok, hy is daar, en alles is geproe. Sam met my en chef Randall Marman lekker geniet. Tot volgende keer, mooi blij. Ek is Abida Dixon Mohammed en volgende week gaan keir ek vir Chef Leon Beach in Saikombuis.